remember once an officer called me. It was during the Vietnam era, and I could hear the bombs in the background. And he wanted to know where his shipment was at, that his people, he needed these medical supplies. He wanted to know where was his shipment. And so I was like, oh, my God, you know. And I go, can I call you back? He goes, no, I'll call you back. So, you know, and then we don't have the, the, the technology that we have today. We had a file room like this, file room, and they had these big old books, file books. And I had to go through each one of them, you know, because he couldn't, he couldn't give me very much. All he could tell me was the, T, the TCN number. So I'm looking through all these books till I found his shipment, and uh, it turned out it had been canceled. So he had... And I told him, well, it was canceled. And he goes, well, part of our troops, what happened was part of their troops were going to come back home, but a part of it was staying behind. And I guess there was a miscommunication, and all his shipments were canceled. So he had to go back and reorder everything. And so then, you know, we had to reprocess everything. During the Vietnam War, you, you don't really realize how much work it is and what it entails until you actually get involved. And as young as I was, because I was, what, 19, 20 years old, um, we were shipping out all these, just, you know, subsistence and medical, and I remember one, there were body bags. And I told the, I told Sergeant Smith, I go, body bags? What, are, what do you mean by body, body bags? What are body bags? And he goes, well, when, that's what our soldiers who, who get who don't make it come home in. And I thought, really? And what what got to me was, it, we didn't ship out one pallet or two pallet. We were shipping van loads of body bags. And I thought, well, how many men are, and women are we losing here? You know, and it, it just kind of, you know, made me think, you know, really what war was all about. 